So in today's video, I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do, and that's actually talking about a product that I don't recommend. So if you're curious about the OtterBox charger for the Xbox Series controllers, stay tuned to figure out why I think you should save your money. Right after a word from today's video sponsor. If you guys are looking for an affordable Windows 10 key, then you need to do yourselves a favor and check out VIPSCDKey.com. Using the link within the description below, as well as the coupon code GG20, you will have yourselves a brand new Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key for as little as $15.82. What are you waiting for? Use that link within the video description and thank you VIPSCDKey for sponsoring today's video. What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at this guy right here. Now this is the Xbox controller charger from OtterBox. And I know that's a weird thing to say in the same sentence, charging, gaming, OtterBox, because OtterBox is mostly known for their cases and their protection, but I didn't know that they actually have like camping accessories and more notably, things like gaming accessories. Now, this wouldn't have been my first choice of a product to purchase. I actually won like an OtterBox gift card where I could get one free item under a certain threshold of money. So I decided to get this guy here and I have to say I'm pretty underwhelmed. Before we get into why I can't recommend it, let's first take a look at the unboxing experience and everything that you get with this controller charger. Now I have to say the OtterBox quality is really bar none. This overall unboxing experience is very, very nice and very well put together. On the top rack of the box, we actually can see the two controller mounts. This is going to be both for the Xbox Series X as well as the Xbox One. Uncovering that, we're going to see on the inside the charge cable itself, the dual battery system, as well as the battery charger. Now, the charge system itself is actually very nice. It's very well put together. It's very robust. Overall, I love the quality of this thing, but if you don't read the fine print, this overall package is a little misleading. Now, you would think with two batteries that you can go ahead and you can charge two controllers. And if you thought that, you'd actually be wrong. What this kit is for is hot swapping batteries between a single controller. So with the battery itself, we'll take one out as an example. So you do have one battery right here. Overall, very, very nice, very small, which is one of the only downfalls. These guys are said to last 10 plus hours, but if you like having the rumble feature on your controller, expect closer to, I would say five to six maybe seven, but that is being absolutely generous. With this battery itself, it will simply go into the back of the controller. I'm gonna have some B-roll to show you guys exactly how to assemble everything. But when this battery dies, it does have like a battery health indicator on it. All you do is eject it from the controller itself, take your dock, which you're gonna have somewhere plugged in, hopefully at all times, you're going to dock this battery, you're gonna quickly remove another battery, and then you're gonna put this in your controller. And I actually have the controller right here. This is the mechanism that you actually dock the batteries into. Now there is a little pinout, I guess it's right here if I take a look through my viewfinder, and this little guy here has like a very minute amount of battery power in it as well. And if I take a second to try to remove this guy, We'll take a closer look at that as well. This little guy right here. So this is the connection interface. If I can get it to focus, it may, it may not. You can see it has some pinouts for connectivity on there. It just plugs right in. And while you're hot swapping your batteries, it actually allows you to go from the dead battery to the charge battery, you have to be quick is the only thing. If you're playing like Call of Duty, Destiny, something competitive, you have to be quick. And if you're playing long gaming sessions, if you're a streamer or anything like that, the downfall is at up to four hours to charge the battery that's dead, you're gonna start running into this weird cycle where 
you haven't had enough time for the previous battery to charge to full before your next battery is dead. And if you hot swap out again, you're gonna run into the concern where now you're taking a completely depleted battery, you're replacing it with a battery that's charged to maybe 80%, and it's gonna be this cycle of maybe not getting full power and eventually you're gonna run out entirely. Now, with that being said, maybe you did actually read all of the product descriptions about this product and you know that it's hot swappable. You have a single controller. You don't want the Haas and the Foss about plugging in the controller itself. You don't want to, let's say, have multiple Xbox batteries. You don't wanna have the fuss of multiple double A's and you like the idea of the hot swap system. Or actually, in fact, the batteries themselves also have a USB-C, so you can actually use this as like a play and charge kit, similar to what Xbox does as well, where this will charge and allow you to play at the same time. The included USB-C cable is very long, so even if you sit a good distance away from the console, this guy should have you covered as well. But the biggest downfall with this is the price tag. We're looking at this coming in anywhere between like $75 Canadian, or I think that equates to roughly about $59 US, where you can buy a play and charge kit directly OEM from Microsoft for $29. You will have to plug that in. It doesn't have a charging dock, but if you don't mind plugging in your controller, for $29, that play and charge kit will give you up to 30 hours. And if you have Rumble and things like that enabled, you're looking at about 16 to 20 hours of full battery. If you're looking at putting out the total cost, and again, I'm in Canada, so I'll speak about great Canadian rupees, with two play and charge kits, you can actually keep one battery charging use the other battery, buy two of these suckers, and you're actually still under the $75 to $80 Canadian price tag of this OtterBox kit, and you've got two batteries that are going to last you over a dozen hours each. If we take a look at another option as well, something that you guys may be doing with your factory uh, controller, and we'll take this insert out again, you can always use double A's. So if you get good quality double A's, this controller will actually last, geez, probably 10 to 12 hours, if not a little bit more, on something like an Alkaline battery or an Energizer Max. And if you have an Ikea nearby, you can actually very affordably buy like a four pack of double A batteries with the charger, use two, and then always have two charging. And rechargeable is definitely preferred. And the only reason why I say that is the push for environmental friendliness. We don't wanna be taking a whole bunch of alkaline batteries that don't recharge and just chucking them in landfills where they don't decompose and they don't break down. It's the cheapest option, but if you want to be a little bit more cautious with what you're doing, rechargeable options are definitely the best, but I don't think that this guy here is the best rechargeable options. If it's like me and you get it for free, you want it as a prize, you get it as a gift, it's neat. I think it's super cool because it does allow me to hot swap out. I typically don't sit down and play for any more than four hours. So by the time I'm done with one battery, I can interchange it, I can dock the other one. These batteries here, if we can see in the dock itself, they don't charge with the controller in the dock like other solutions, Xbox as well has a wireless dock that you can get with their OEM rechargeable battery. So you will have to actually take these out of the controller every single time that you wanna charge them. Not a huge inconvenience, but from what I've noticed, this guy right here, and again, it comes with two in the package. The downfall is it's not two for the same controller. You have one for the Series S, Series X, one for the Xbox One controller, and you can't buy these adapters separately. So my hopes were that I could actually go ahead and find another one of these adapters, which I'm sure you can maybe on eBay, but from what I can see, OtterBox doesn't sell them separately, but get another one of those adapters, and now I could have two batteries for two controllers. And in this case, at least right now, without some extra legwork, I can't. And if I can find one, that again is an added cost on top of the $80 Canadian or $75 Canadian, whatever this kit actually costs, 
to have two controllers charging where I could just instead invest in rechargeable batteries or even a huge pack, which is what I've been doing up until now, of good like Energizer Max batteries. I've been using the same kit. I think it's like a 16 battery kit since I got my console probably like six to eight months ago. Now I am on my last two, but I also have four controllers because we play four player Minecraft from time to time. So if it was just, let's say one to two controllers, I would still have probably half of that pack left. Now I don't normally do this style of video where I go out of my way to not recommend a product because I want to steer clear of negativity, but I felt compelled to do this because of the sheer cost. This is expensive. And what you pay for is this right here. Just like the cases, which I do, if I reach my pocket right now, I do use OtterBox stuff. So I actually have the OtterBox anew. If you guys have been kind of watching the channel for a while, you're know, you'll know that this is my favorite case that I've honestly ever had on my phone. They're expensive, their warranty's great, and they do exactly what they're supposed to do with cases. With these guys here, yes, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Yes, I'm sure the warranty is great because it's lifetime warranty. I don't know if that covers degraded batteries over time because even rechargeables will have a certain life cycle that they need to kind of abide by and stay within before they completely deplete. But the cost is just too high for me to recommend. And I think for you guys, if you found this video because you're curious about this OtterBox charger, I think it's something you should probably stay clear of. I think there's better investments with either double A's, rechargeable double A's, or OEM solutions that will give you a lot more for your money. Heck, there's even third party rechargeable solutions, which off brands I don't tend to recommend 100% of the time, but you could probably buy four or five different off brand solutions before you'd actually reach the MSRP and the total of this kit here. So in conclusion, the OtterBox, I don't know what they officially call it, OtterBox Power Swap Controller Batteries, mm, gonna have to get a pass from me. So if you found this video at all helpful, insightful, ins insightful, insightful, anything like that, drop a like. Let me know as well if you would like me to do more of these videos because I have things that I've gotten in the office and that I've bought personally that I tend to not want to recommend because I don't believe in the value proposition it gives. Either it doesn't function properly, maybe it's too expensive, maybe there's better options out there that either do the same or do better. And I try to steer clear of that negativity. But as much as my positive outlook on technology helps people, I think maybe some God honest solutions and information like this may help a lot of you guys as well save a ton of money and find something a lot better. So if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see in the future, if more videos like this or just more actual recommendations that you know when you click on a video, you're kind of getting gold or something that you should pay attention to. But until my next video, my name is Quasar Dog. You guys have been awesome and we'll catch you all in my next one. Take care.